York is known as a very historic city, but it's also very famous in the sweet and chocolate industry for Roundtree's and Nestle. In 1881, Joseph Roundtree, with the help from a French confectioner, created the famous fruit pastels. In 1887, Roundtree realised that tastes were changing, so he developed Roundtree's Elect Cocoa. With this, he made many more chocolates and sweets later, such as After Eights. Roundtree opened a shop in York to expand his business further. 130 years later, there are many old traditional and new style sweet and chocolate shops. The building's about 300 and something years old, but it's only been a sweet shop for about 12 years now. And I thought a sweet shop would fit in quite well with the historic nature of the, st the street as well. I think it's something a lot of kids uh, aspire to, you know, owning their own sweet shop, and uh, never really left me, so. Supermarkets tend to be depersonalised. I think what a small independent business gives you is um, uh, more of a personal touch. You know, everyone that comes in this shop, for example, gets a good welcome. And, and a good cheerio when they go, and um, that's just not that's just not available in, in large depersonalised supermarkets. Well, it's obviously more personal service. I think you've got a much bigger selection because if you go in a supermarket and look down the sweet aisles, you know you're very limited as, as to what's available there. Being an independent businessman, I would I would have to say um, it would be better for to have an independent outlet, um, but unfortunately we can't turn the clock back and. Um, Whilst there are one or two traditional sweet shops still still around, um, likely they've gone. I think York's always had uh, a big tradition of chocolates and sweet sweet making. A lot of it's moved away now. There's still one or two. Uh, a lot of it's moved away, um, but but the tradition's still there. Yeah.